Hey Libra, welcome to your reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you'd like the person reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. The overall energy, we have the Nine of Swords with the Eight of Wands in reverse. There's clearly someone here who's stressing about a situation because there is no communication right now. The Nine of Swords is overthinking, overanalyzing a situation, living in fear, a lot of remorse, regret. But I feel that there's stress around a situation because things aren't moving forward. You could be dealing with someone who's holding back communication, you know, on purpose or who's delaying forward progress, okay, in this situation here. But whatever this is, right, something's not moving forward and this is creating a lot of stress in, in your life or in this person's life, okay? Someone's stressed about this and up at night, panic mode and, you know, just having you on their mind on a constant basis here. So, um, let's see. How you feel, how they feel, how you view them, how they view you, what action will you take, what action will they take? Why is all this happening in the near future? Okay. okay. How you feel right now is the Ten of Swords. You feel backstabbed, betrayed, cheated, being stabbed in the back by this person here. Give me two cards for Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is this how Libra feels? Why is this how Libra feels? Yeah, because there's a lack of communication from this person's side. This person's constantly procrastinating. Maybe this person needs to come towards you with an apology or they were not investing, okay? Someone who was going back and forth with investing into a connection or something was a missed opportunity. Give me a more card for the next source. Temperance, yeah. I think you're letting this relationship go. You're letting it be. You're waiting for divine timing or you're waiting for the right time. But I think more than reconciliation, I feel you're healing from the situation, okay? There's this healing energy that's going on within you. I think you're trying to take a break. More than a break, I feel you're just staying away from this person because your peace, the balance in yourself and moderation is what is the most important for you right now. Okay? And uh, probably you're dealing with someone who was very, very immature in their approach towards you. Okay, Someone who wasn't really investing the right way or not investing the way you would want them to in this relationship. Could be dealing with someone very, very immature. Okay. The person that you're dealing with, how do they feel is the page of cups. So they feel like coming towards you with an apology or wanting to communicate with you emotionally. What's the page of cups? Why is this how this person feels towards Libra? The moon. One more card here. One more card for the Page of Cups. Three of Cups. This person definitely wants a reconciliation. Okay. This person is someone here where there was a lack of equal give and take. Something was a one-sided situation. You know, there was a lack of reciprocity here. This person wants to come in and try to balance out the situation. Okay. They want to come in towards you. Apologize. Because with the moon here, there's this deceptive energy. Okay, I feel this person's holding back their emotions. <clears throat> they feel a lot for you, but they're holding back. With the three of cups here, they want a reconciliation. Okay, they want to get back together. They want to be with you on the same page. And the emotions are very, very deep. Okay, but there's some kind of stress, some fear, some anxiety that they are experiencing around this situation here. How do you view them as the Ace of Wands? So you view this person as someone who's just uh, very passionate about you. Why Ace of Wands here? Yeah, you view them as a situation where someone who just wanted passion here, okay? And you had to drop this load because passion was not the only thing that you were looking for, okay? And you had to let this person go because this person in your life okay was causing more stress turmoil and a lot of um, burden in your life rather than making it a fun experience or rather than making it um, an emotional experience that you would really love okay you had to let this person go that's how you view them you view them as someone who uh, dropped you or you dropped them because there was only passion okay you probably could view this person as someone you had a lot of um, 
passion for or someone who you had a lot of false starts with. How does this person view you with the devil here? This person view you as, views you as someone who's obsessed with them. Or probably this person views you as someone very toxic or someone who they just cannot let go. Why the devil? Why the devil? The hangman in reverse, yeah. They view you as someone who's released this person, okay? They view you as someone who was stuck in a situation and they no longer have control over you and you've released yourself from this person here, okay? But this person is still holding on to you. They see you as someone who's had an epiphany. They see you as someone who's had a realization of some, some sort and um, you've just let them go. Yeah, you view this, they view you as someone who's got themselves unstuck of a situation that this person was keeping you tied in for a very long time. Um, the action you plan on taking is the High Priestess in reverse. Why is that? Why is the High Priestess in reverse here? Give me one more card here for the High Priestess in reverse. Libra, what you want is commitment, okay? You want something stable, something committed here. You're dealing with someone here who's authentically not really seeking commitment, okay? What you're doing here is in your actions is that I think you are... You're not trusting your intuition, okay? You're having a hard time trusting your intuition. But yes, one thing what you're doing is you're trusting... You're having a hard time figuring out of differentiating between your feelings and your ego, Okay, and with the two of swords in reverse here and the nine of pentacles, I feel you see the situation for what it is. You see things very clearly. You made up your mind and what you want to focus on is the nine of pentacles here. So you want to focus on yourself, your career, your goals, your money. You're okay on your own. Okay, wherever you are without this person, you're for sure you're okay on your own. And um, your entire focus is like you're good where you are. Okay, you're very self-sufficient, you have everything that you need except a romantic relationship probably, but you're, you're, you're choosing to be single, okay, because you're all about your money and yourself, you're throwing yourself into work, taking care of yourself, being single, financially independent, okay, but your focus is going to be your mental security and your overall independence than wanting to make this relationship work out, yeah, you're no longer making this relationship a priority because this was a decision that was hard to make. Yeah, you were probably stuck in the decision, not wanting to see the reality for what it is, but you finally see the reality for what it is. Why? Because with the high priestess in reverse here, there's, there's some information that has been revealed to you. Okay. Now, either this is you trusting your intuition and there's some information that has been downloaded that has come to you in the open because of which it is helping you to make this decision. Okay. You made up your mind here and you're choosing to be single and choosing to be on your own. Yeah, because I think you're done with this person being in and out of your life, this connection being a very on and off connection. Okay, it's like flame on flame off. Okay, and you're fed up with that. You feel very betrayed and cheated by this person here because this person was someone, you know, who was just going back and forth with communication, not really giving you something substantial, not really making you an offer that has anything tangible or anything um, uh, that holds value here. Okay. And I think with the temperature, you're just wanting to keep stay away from the uh, from the shit talkers here. You're trying to stay away from the drama and chaos and just wanting to be on your own. This person on the other hand here, this person feels very deep for you, okay? Page of Cups here. This person is someone here, you know, who's not very authentic with their feelings, okay? They know they have a lot of love for you, but the problem here is that you're dealing with someone here who is uh, who has deep, 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 immense love for you, okay? But they don't express it that much due to their immaturity and due to their inexperience, okay? They, they themselves don't know how much they love, for, they have love for you, okay? But they, know, they, they don't even know that they've fallen in love with you so hard. Yeah, they don't realize the depth of the attraction that they have towards you, the love they have towards you. But this is someone very shy, okay? But they're wanting to, will they're, they're willing to follow their heart. There is emotional communication or an apology or uh, a message that's coming towards you, okay? Because they want a reconciliation with you. But with the moon here, there's something that they're not telling you. And what they're not telling you is that they love for you so much and uh, they have so much love for you, but they haven't been, been able to express it, okay? Probably because of past hurt or due to past experiences. And how they view you as someone that they cannot let this connection go. Okay, they're obsessed with you. 
they're addicted to you okay but they see you with a hangman and reverse you as someone who's let them go who's released themselves okay from the situation because it wasn't serving you action plan your person plan on, plans on taking is the five of cups in reverse here tell me more about the five of cups in reverse what's the five of cups in reverse Strength and reverse. Give me a more Page of Wands. Yeah, see, this person is going to come in and communicate towards you. Okay, this person wants a reconciliation. If this person was holding back from you, okay, they're no longer holding back. They're no longer holding back. They cannot tame the situation anymore. They can't hold back from you. And with the page of wands here, this person wants to take a new approach, okay? This person with the page of wands is someone here, you know, who was, they, they were procrastinating in the past, okay? A lot of procrastination going on about wanting to take action towards you, wanting to come towards you with communication. But they're going to initiate communication from their side, okay? That's a baby that you're talking to, okay? But they're very enthusiastic and very exciting about communicating with you. They want to take a new direction or a new approach, okay? towards you this is a whole new path they're feeling very inspired and uh they, but, but yes for sure they want to keep the situation very fun and very uh, uh very light-hearted and very fun loving okay so i feel like in the actions i feel this person is uh you know no longer crying over spilt milk okay they're wanting to rebuild this connection here yeah, they're letting go of what happened in the past, letting bygones be bygones and wanting to see a future with you. Strength and reverse, I'm literally getting someone here who's running on fumes, okay? They're very scared to take action, but they're, um, they're surrendering. They're no longer holding back, okay? They're lacking the strength to hold back from you anymore. They want to come towards you and they will communicate with you. Why is all this happening is because with the four of pentacles here, let's see, why is the four of pentacles here? Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so see, the problem here was that this person was holding back from you. This was someone who's determined on not expressing the truth from coming out, okay? Um, the Four of Pentacles to me is, it's like an energy where it's like, um, how do I put this? It's, it's, it's more like um, a very selfish, greedy energy, right? But this is someone here, you know, it's like an inner programming, okay? Where someone has already always been told of not to share their feelings. If you do, you know, like things can get messed up. Like don't sh shield your heart always. Be protected about your emotions, you know. Hold on tightly, you know, something like that. But they were holding back and they were suppressing the truth from coming out. This was the root of the issue. Here, give me one more card. Give me one more card. This person could be someone who had trust issues with the fool here. This person's coming towards you, like I said, right? That's why they're going to communicate with you with the fool here. This person wants to take a leap of faith with you. They're going to, they're wanting to start all over again from scratch, okay? And they're going to be very apologetic about whatever happened between you guys. With the queen of wands, has the best potential outcome. Um, now, this seems to me as you, okay? I don't know if you're going to entertain this person because in your actions is the nine of pentacles. I feel you're going to do what makes you happy now it doesn't this what makes you happy here with the knight of pentacles here i don't feel like you're interested in this person you're just going to um you have your op i mean you have a lot of options that's for sure right but i think you're just being very confident and very secure about the decision that you're making about this person you're going to follow your true passion okay you're very determined and uh you're just going to do what you're passionate about here tell me more about the queen of wants here why is the queen of wands here the best potential outcome why is this the best potential outcome yeah see ace of swords in reverse give me one more card here eight of cups in reverse I feel you've lost all hope and faith that, this, that, that things will ever work out with this person here. But this person is coming back towards you. Okay. They are. With the Ace of Swords in reverse here, I feel you may not immediately get the clarity because I don't see any clarity cards from this person. Okay. Ace of Swords is usually the card I like. If it has to be a new start, it could it'd rather be the Ace of Swords here, especially when there's a lot of deception or there's been a lack of communication. Okay. Because this tells me that if the Ace of Swords is here, it's more like um, a new start. 
okay it's a breakthrough here where it's a new beginning which is based on transparency and honesty i still see that that not happening this person's coming back towards you they're making a move towards you but i don't think that you're wanting to pursue this person or wanting or interested in this person anymore you've already lost the passion in this person here i think you're moving forward and at least when this person comes back right because i think with the ace of swords in reverse here there's still a lack of clarity this person is still not ready to tell you the truth or still not ready to give you that closure or not ready to give you that communication with which you guys can clear the air okay so that's what i'm getting here but they're coming in with communication they want reconciliation with you for sure okay they're addicted they want to start all over again but remember the fool is the card of starting from scratch okay so they want to start from ground zero with you again but if you're looking for some clarity about what the hell happened and uh where is the situation going you're not going to get that you're not going to get that but they're just too invested into you they cannot walk away from you okay so they're coming back towards you so that's what i have for you libra i hope this reading resonates leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye Bye-bye.